Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, I am back out at the rim of the Snake River Canyon and again I have the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro and we're going to try one more time to send this guy out over the canyon. I know I promised that my first flight would be out over the canyon. We weren't able to do that. Uh, so my first flight was just kind of in the uh, in the schoolyard next door to my house, but uh, well, let's just get this guy out. Now that I've got that uh, OTG cable figured out and figured out that I had a bad OTG cable and got it working now, uh, we're going to send this guy out over the canyon. Uh, today's flight is just mostly going to be looking at the camera and checking out camera quality and so forth. Uh, so yeah, I uh, I know you know people complain that a lot of times my face is shaded while I uh, do these introductions. Hey, I thought you'd rather have the the Snake River Canyon as a background <laughs> than looking at my face, or I could have turned the camera around the other way. Let's just quit messing around and let's get this bird in the air. Okay, so I've got everything hooked up. Uh, the uh, the drone asked us for a compass calibration, so we did that. Weak GPS signal. So while it's getting uh, some satellites, let's uh, let's take a look through. Uh, well, let's first let's go. Sorry about that. Let's get out of there. Let's click at the very top of the screen and go into the safety menu. Uh, so that's talking about some uh, uploads that are yet to come. Asking for another compass calibration. I just did one, but we'll do it again. Okay, so we've done two successful compass calibrations. Uh, and if we look down here on the menu, it says everything is normal, so we should be good to go there. Uh, yeah, okay, let's get out of that. Let's go into the end where it says... Uh, oh, it's carried me there. I got the USB cable disconnected uh, uh, again. <laughs> Yeah, let's trust this computer again. Well, let's hope we don't have this all over again, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go into the menu, and I want to uh, check all of our settings. Yeah, we've got our uh, return to home altitude set correctly. Uh, yeah, so we should be good to go there. Let's check on that last page. Uh, and we can, I can show you my uh, version numbers for the uh, firmware. And we'll get out of there. So let's go into the, uh, the uh, camera. And, uh, you know, we may not be able to set that until the drone is in flight. So let's go ahead and take off. Uh, we're showing 90% on the battery. Uh, I, I fired up this battery earlier before I left the house to check for firmware updates. So that may be what's going on there. Uh, and I did charge this battery a couple days ago, so uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Want to make sure you can see it on the uh, GoPro. Drop that camera down just a little. Uh, okay, so uh, heck, I'm going to go ahead and hit takeoff on the app here. Yeah, and it's telling us that the obstacle avoidance is off. We don't need it where we're at here right now. Uh, I am going to tell you that this is a fairly breezy day. 11 mile an hour sustained with 22 mile an hour gusts. This drone is said to have uh, level 5 wind resistance, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's go into that camera menu now and see what we can find here. Video bit rate. Let's set that. Let's move that up to uh, 200. And I'm going to switch to video. Let's go back into that menu again. And I want to make sure. Yeah, we're on 4K, 30 frames per second. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Clicking around, and we do. Let's check that bit rate one more time. Yep, that's on 200. Uh, okay, so that's what we want, and it is in uh, auto. I don't believe manual settings are available. Well, it is giving us some manual settings there, but uh, for the purposes of this test, we're going to be in auto, and uh, looks like it's, uh, uh, anyway, so let's go ahead. 
and start recording. So starting recording now. And it's, you know, my, my screen is a little bit dim out here. Let's move the, let's turn the drone around. Sorry this is taking so long guys, I'm just being extra careful. I want to make sure we have a good connection and everything's working like it should. Let's bring it in here. Okay, we'll rock it back and forth. You can see that gimbal working. Gimbal is working good. Uh, we are in normal mode, uh, so I am pointed out at the canyon, so let's uh, go ahead and do our droney. Let's just send this baby reverse and up now. I had a little bit of cross coupling on the controls there, as you can tell. I was trying to send it directly back and, uh, you know, I was moving the drone around a little bit. So there you are, getting a good look at the, uh, at the side of the canyon here. How fast are we going? We are at 9 meters per second, so that's good. That's uh, in normal mode. The other day when I was flying it, it was, it was slower in normal mode. We've got 12 satellites. Man, everything is solid so far. Let's go ahead. Uh, I am going to, we're going to go uh, down river here. And uh, you saw me do this the other day in the, uh, the DJI uh, Mini SE and the Mini 2. Let me, uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to try a little test here. I'm going to turn on obstacle avoidance. Yeah, and we have, and this has given us a warning about uh, doing a calibration. I've done that, but we're going to open it. We're going to start it anyway. Uh, and let's go, I've, I've got a theory, and I don't know what it's, uh, what it's seeing there, because it's out just over the canyon, so it shouldn't be seeing anything. But I think my theory, it's looking at something, and there's, there's nothing that that drone should be seeing, so... I mean, it's just out over the canyon. But the point I'm making is notice how the speed is slower. So it definitely slows it down when OA is on. That was the uh, issue I noticed the other day. So we're going to turn obstacle avoidance off. There we go. Obstacle avoidance is off. Full stick forward again, and it should take us right back up to, uh, yeah, it's up to 8 meters per second. So it's moving along pretty good. So we're already down to 75% battery, but let's, uh, let's go out here a ways. Let's just send it down river, down the canyon. And we're about, uh, oh gosh, 26 meters above our takeoff point. And there's a good steady breeze, and the drone is uh, going essentially into the wind right now. A little bit of a crosswind, but uh, it's pretty much going into the wind. And you can see it's, uh, it's, it's slowed down there a little bit. Let's, uh, let's try sport mode. Okay, I'm going to get off the throttle now. We're at zero throttle. And I'm looking at the speed. The drone is still moving, but let's hit sport mode here. So uh, we're switched into sport mode, and let's see if anything happens with the gimbal. Full tilt, full stick forward right now. And yeah, we're picking up. It's 10 meters per second, 11 meters per second, and uh, 13 meters, 14. It's move, that's moving right along, folks. That's well over 30 miles an hour. Uh, and the gimbal is working great. Uh, you know, I've not seen any gimbal pitch shift uh, or anything there. Now it's kind of slowing down a little bit. You know, you'd have to believe that maybe that's just uh, differences in wind. Okay, so let's try something else. I'm getting off the throttle now. I'm going to go into the menu, and if I can remember where it's at, there is a setting there for anti-wind mode. There it is. We're going to turn that on. And uh, it says that, that the gimbal could be affected. So what that tells me what I believe that is, is the, gim the, the, the it will allow the drone to pitch forward more and you will potentially get gimbal pitch shift. So let's try that. We're going to go full stick forward 
and we're going to see if it makes any difference in the speed. Yeah, so we're we're getting signal. Yeah, and we just lost connection, and we were not even a kilometer away, and there's no uh, yeah, there's no reason that we should have lost uh, connection there. So let's hope that it, <laughs> it'll go into return to home here because we're not getting a connection back. Uh, and you know, there's just a clear shot between me and the drone. So, uh, and there's, you know, obviously we're out in the middle of nowhere out here. So yeah, I don't know, nothing yet folks disconnected. I'm going to, I'm going to walk out towards the edge of the Canyon. And we'll see if we can, uh, I'm holding the, uh, controller up. The I can no, I don't, I'm not getting any uh, telemetry. USB is disconnected. <laughs> uh. Okay. So not only did we lose connection, uh, now I'm getting the USB cable <laughs> disconnected. Oh, Hubson, you're not letting me down, are you? Okay, I'm gonna try something here. I am going to uh, disconnect the cable. And I hear the drone, it's, yeah, the drone's coming back. Yeah, it's moving, man, it's right above me. It is hauling the mail. Uh, so you guys would have already known it was coming back. So let's see if I can plug this back in and get a connection again. And we're just disconnected, so let's hope the drone doesn't uh, doesn't land on top of my car or something like that, because we just we just don't have a connection at all. We don't have USB. We don't have connection with the. Uh, and it's coming down here. It's, it doesn't. I don't think it's going to hit the pad, but uh, oh, now we've got. Well, yeah. So let's hit trust. So it looks like we're. I got uh, USB connection again. The drone is coming down, and it's going to land. I mean, I don't have. Yeah. So it landed in the middle of some rocks. Uh, Guys, there was nothing I could do. It just says disconnected, so we never regained connection. <laughs> it, uh, it didn't blow up much dirt. So, uh, so why we lost connection there, I have no clue, but uh, the drone did return to home. Uh, however, uh, you know, you can still see on my screen and I'm looking at the uh, at the controller here and it's scrolling disconnected off of there so and <laughs> now it says USB cable is not connected I don't know uh, <laughs> dare we I'm gonna cycle everything on and off and uh, and we'll try this again how about that we'll send it the other direction well I don't know if you guys can hear that on my mic but uh, to the north of me is a uh, military Black Hawk helicopter. He's, of course, way higher than we are and way away from where we're at, but kind of interesting to see him flying over there. Okay, we're all connected here again. So, uh, yeah, weak GPS signal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it seemed like we lost connection when I turned on that wind resistance thing. So I'm gonna go in and shut that off. I don't know. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but uh, that is one thing that changed. So, so we'll go ahead and shut it off. Uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, hit takeoff on the app again. And here we go. Okay, just for the fun of it, I'm going to look in the uh, camera menu again and see if the video bit rate, yeah, the video bit rate uh, by default is at 100. So let's kick it back up to 200 again. And let's go ahead and start recording. Uh, 
I'm gonna drop that gimbal down a little bit and we are gonna go, we're gonna get a little more altitude and we're just gonna head straight out over the canyon here. And you know, there is nothing, uh, nothing blocking me and the drone here, so. We, we should be in good shape. And we're gonna be a little more careful going this way because the drone will be coming back against the wind and we are in normal mode. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, I'm going to drop the gimbal down here just a little. 54% battery, so we're not going to get too carried away, but let's go out there a little ways. And uh, we want to get, uh, I'm going to grab some altitude. Let's get it up, uh, I don't know. Let's go up to 70 meters above where we're at so that, you know, we, we know we got a straight shot with the, uh, with the controller. So what you're looking at there on the canyon, we are basically facing kind of southeast roughly here. Uh, got good connection so far, so, so no complaints there. Uh, still at 50% battery and we're out about 600 meters. Let's go ahead and grab some more altitude. Let's get up to about uh, 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 100 meters high. So that's pretty close, and uh, that is well under our legal limit. So, uh, but it gives us a good shot at the uh, at the drone with the antenna. So no excuses there. This is about as far as we went the other way when we lost connection and then never regained connection as the drone came back. Although I will say the drone did exactly as it was programmed to do. It did turn around and come home. So uh, I'm gonna go out here. Uh, yeah, there's a kilometer. Let's, uh, let's not push our luck. Let's, uh, let's move back out over the side of the canyon here. Let me... Uh, I'm going to kind of just do an arc around here and give you a look at the side of the canyon. Yeah, poor signal. Look at that, aircraft disconnected. As soon, soon as I turned the drone, uh, now, now we got it back. Yeah, no, we kind of had it back. So then, so then you have to you have to tell it to trust the computer again. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, and we're disconnected. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if we'll get it back or not, guys. Uh, we still, and, and this is the disconnection with the, uh, with the uh, uh, controller, not the, uh, the, the mobile device, not, not the USB connection. So yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly what to do here. The last time this happened, we never got connection back. Uh, and you know, this time I was much higher going the other direction. It is gonna be coming back against the wind. We had over 50% battery, so we'll see what happens, huh? <laughs> uh. The thing is, you guys are probably already seeing the drone returning. Uh, I'm holding the uh, I'm holding the controller up just in case, just so we can see. Got the flat part of the antenna pointed towards the drone. You know, I'm tempted to uh, cycle the controller, but I, uh, you know, I'm I'm not confident that will. Because of course, I guess at this point it can't hurt anything, can it? So I'm going to shut the controller off and turn it back on, and let's see what happens. And here comes, I can hear the drone. It is moving. <laughs> One thing you can say, okay, so I've got the controller back on. Let's see if it connects. And boy, that drone is moving. Look, look, okay, so it's, yeah, so it's in return mode. So the only thing is that I don't, I, I've got, 
connection, but I don't have FPV. Uh, but at least uh, I can control the drone. We're down to 34% battery, and it's, it's right above us. It's coming down. <laughs> uh, but I can't see anything on the screen. I'm going to sh shut off recording and start it again. And let's see, uh, let's see what that did. But I, I have no, uh, no FPV. It's just a black screen. And the drone's coming down. Let's see how close it'll get. It's not going to... Uh... Yeah, let me see if I can stop it. Yeah, so I was able to stop it. And I do have control of the drone, but again, I don't have FPV. So uh, we'll see if we can land it on the pad here. We're down to 31% battery. Well, there's your troubled little drone, folks. I, uh, she did come back to us, that's for sure, but uh, like I said, I don't, I don't have FPV at all. Let me, uh, I'm gonna back it up and get it over the pad, roughly. Okay, so I'm gonna try something here. I am gonna unplug the uh, USB cable, plug it back in and see if I can get FPV. So we're unplugged, we should get the uh, USB cable disconnected. And I unplugged it from the uh, controller, the micro USB end. So now let's plug it back in and let's see if we get uh, FPV back. Yeah, no, we got a connection back, but I still don't have FPV. Okay, let me, I got to do the trust. I always forget about that. So we got the trust. Trust this computer. Yeah, and the wind's coming up. Let me stop recording again. Start recording. Guys, and I'm just experimenting to see, you know, if anything changes, if we can get the, the screen back. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit the uh, hit the pad here because the wind is really coming up. We'll try. That's pretty close. Oh, it's moving off. Yeah, it moved off. As I as I put it into landing mode, I don't know if it's the wind that caught it or what, but it, it moved off. Okay, so since FPV is off, I'm, I'm sure it, uh, it shut down uh, the, uh, the recording. So let's take off again and see if we get FPV back. What do you think? We've got a little bit, 23% battery. We'll just keep it, we'll just keep it right here. And look at that. So we got FPV back. Uh, so I kind of had a feeling that might be the case, but, uh, but boy, that's troublesome. You know, if you were out there, well, I won't speculate, but uh, in any case, let's, uh, I want to look at something else in the menu here. See if I can find, yeah, searching for drone apron is not available yet. I, I kind of thought that, but uh, anyway, let's, let's go back. Uh, let's start recording again. Sorry about that. Let's go back out over the canyon. Yeah, and it's going to go into return to home, so let's let it do that. It's counting down. Let's see how it does. And it should go up to 50 meters. And yeah, so it's ascending. This time, hopefully, we'll get to watch, right? And it's ascending fairly slowly, so. And I, like I said, I have it set at 50 meters. Yeah, we'll let it. it, it we, got, we should have enough battery to do this, so. We'll let it do it. Like I said, look at that. It's, uh, it's moving up pretty darn slow. It's not even at its uh, 
50 meter height yet, 17% battery, we're okay. And we're only 60 meters from our home point, so let's see what it does. I guess what I'm gonna tell you is with regard to range, it doesn't have it, at least mine doesn't. Cause you saw me and then when you lose connection, there's no getting it back. It's, uh, when you lose connection, it's, it's gone. Okay, now it's coming down and it's coming down pretty quick. Let's, uh, let's drop that gimbal down, straight down. And you know, it's fairly close to the apron. We'll stop it before it gets, uh, I don't know, look at this. Hell, I don't know if, I don't know if I could get, get it any closer manually. Let's just see what it does here. Let's see if it picks up that camera. That's pretty damn close. Okay, I'm picking up the camera. I, I don't want that camera pointed down when it lands. So you guys are, uh, are seeing it here. <laughs> Even without precision landing, it got closer to the landing pad than I did, so. <laughs> So I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, well, kudos to Hubson on their GPS accuracy. Okay, this thing's beeping. Let me get everything shut down and we'll do our conclusion. Hey, before I start the conclusion that I did out in the field uh, for this video with the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro, uh, I did have a chance to look at the video off of the memory uh, on the drone. And I'm very, very disappointed. I mean, you'll see it. Uh, there's, it's, it's pretty shaky. Now, you know, it was a fairly windy day. A uh, little bit of jello in there. Uh, just not what we expected from this drone. So, uh, anyway, uh, on with the conclusion. Hey, okay, guys. Uh, the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro. Yeah, I mean, we had a few issues there. Let's, uh, I want to see how hot this thing is. Yeah, you know what? This is very different than the flight I had the other day. It is, uh, it's just fine. I, I, can, I can grab right a hold of it now. Like I said, we've got more of a breeze. It's weird, the temperature is about the same as it was the other day. Uh, but yeah, it's not, uh, yeah, no, I could, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's just, uh, I mean, I'm almost gonna say room temperature. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's the drone. I, I'm going to say this. It is, uh, it is certainly a good looking piece. Uh, I like the styling of it. It's a good looking drone. Uh, okay. You guys will have seen the video off the, not off the SD card, but off of the internal memory on the drone already. In other words, the video that we recorded. Uh, you know, I was just looking at, uh, at my FPV screen and uh, it looked, you know, okay what I could see on there, but let's turned it up to that 200 megabits per second so uh, we can see what that does to the quality and of course everything was in full auto and we went a couple different directions here so you should see some different lighting conditions and we'll see how that looks you like I said you guys will already know that I haven't seen it yet uh, with regard to the performance of the drone you know what the drone handles fine the gimbal works great uh, uh, now for me it's kind of it's it seems to be like it's boiling down to uh, uh, connection issues and, and when I say the gimbal works great what I could see just on my FPV screen like you know we might see some stuff looking at the, the video that was recorded but what I saw it worked great uh, the you know those disconnections are very concerning for a couple of reasons one is that you don't as it returns you don't get the connection back and like when I was uh, heading southeast here, as I turned the drone is when we lost connection. Well, underneath these front legs is where the antenna is. And, you know, as the antenna position turned, we lost connection. Uh, when we were going the other way, you know, I'm not exactly sure why. I can tell you I didn't have it as high. Uh, so, you know, could that have made a difference? I don't know. Uh, it was about, I think, 26 or 27 meters high at that point. But we had a straight shot. It was only out a kilometer. Uh, I, I've done that with my Wi-Fi DJI drone and gone way further than that. So I don't know. Don't know, even know what to say. Like I said, what was more concerning to me 
is that I didn't get the connection back. And then uh, even more disconcerting is I again got that USB disconnected warning and that's with my other cable. So makes me think that there's more to that problem than just the cable too although uh, you know we did we did get that back uh, yeah I mean uh, here's what I'm going to tell you I I don't have a lot of confidence in this guy and so you know when you're doing things like uh, sending it out over the canyon here and so forth you, you need to have confidence if you're uh, you know, well, almost anywhere you fly it, you're going to have to have confidence that you've got a good solid connection. And I just can't say that with this guy. Uh, I do uh, want to thank uh, uh, Mansoor at the Ali Shanmao channel. Uh, Mansoor has helped me out a lot with this drone uh, with some troubleshooting and so forth. Uh, so I appreciate that. And he is, uh, he is, uh, knows a lot about Hubson drones and he's uh, in contact with the engineers at Hubson as well. So I guess, you know, we're just gonna have to say at this point, it's a work in progress. So let's hope that they keep refining it and, uh, and we get some improvements. And what I'll do guys is I assure you, I will keep flying it and we'll uh, keep working with this drone and, and uh, see, uh, see how it uh, proceeds and uh, hopefully improves. So I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And most of all, I, of course, I appreciate you taking a look at this video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. The uh, Hubson Zeno Mini Pro, uh, yeah, just not quite there yet. All right, see you guys.